how to prepare and paint exterior surfaces. Not only does exterior paint help to protect your walls and wood from the elements, but it's a great way to spruce up your home and garden. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Preparation is key to a long-lasting finish, so see our online guide or leaflet for additional advice on planning and preparation and aftercare. When painting masonry, start by thoroughly cleaning the surface you intend to paint. For smaller areas, you can use water and a wire brush to remove dirt and grime. For larger areas, or surfaces with a considerable buildup of dirt, dust or grease, use a high pressure hose and a stone or brick cleaning solution. Wait until the surface is completely dry before continuing. In some cases, this could take a few weeks. If your masonry has patches of green algae or mold, these can be treated by applying a fungicidal wash. Be sure to follow manufacturer's instructions on usage, safety and drying times when using this product. If your render is damaged or cracked, repair it with exterior filler before painting. Apply the filler with a filling knife and be sure to follow the manufacturer's advice. It's best to treat unstable, powdery or porous surfaces with a coat of exterior masonry stabilizing solution and then allow to dry fully before painting. Now you're ready to paint. Although you can use a masonry brush to paint your exterior walls, for larger areas, it may be easier to apply the paint with a masonry roller and extension pole. When doing more precise work, and when cutting in around edges, use a small brush that's specifically designed for the job. You can cut in the top and the sides of the wall at any point, but it's best to leave cutting in the bottom of the wall until last. This stops the dust sheet from accidentally removing any paint. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's advice for the number of coats needed. When preparing exterior wood, start by removing any flaking or peeling paint with a scraper. Once you're back to a good surface, feather in with sandpaper. Then, repair any holes, cracks or rotten timber using an exterior wood filler and sand when dry. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. If you're painting windows, you'll need to remove any loose or damaged putty with a scraper or putty knife. Apply new putty as needed, carefully dispensing from a gun or a tub and then finishing off with a putty knife. Allow to dry as directed by the manufacturer. Then apply a coat of primer to areas that have been stripped back to bare wood or where filler or new putty has been added. If your paintwork is already in good condition, Simply rub down the surface with medium grade sandpaper and clean with sugar soap or a damp cloth before painting. You're now ready to paint. Depending on the size of the area you're covering, paint with a roller or brush that's specifically designed for the job. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on the number of coats needed. Here is the list of tools you'll need to paint your exterior surfaces. And here are the materials you'll use. And this is the recommended safety equipment needed.